ways that you can add value. And so this is just a quick tip on how you can increase cash flow if you're in a pinch. All right, so this is really for, say you have less than 80 clients. And I've actually done this, guys. In my first three years, I did this a lot. You'd get in a cash flow pinch or you wanted to increase your top line revenue a little bit. Here's one trick to do. Um, take some hustle, some gumption, but I know it'll help you. I want you to, after three o'clock or after 3.30, look around the property and honestly look for the quality of work. How are we doing? If I'm cutting the grass, have we missed anything? How do our stripes look? How's our edging look? What's the landscaping bed look like? Are they clean? You know, they weren't signed up for maintenance. Um, is there weeds in the bed? Truly look for ways that you can add value. So you're in a cash flow pinch. You're willing to do anything. The first thing you're going to do is go after 3.30, knock on each of your client's doors. Uh, so say you've got 80 clients, you do this for 10 days, all you've got to do is go meet with eight people for 10 days in a row. So within 10 days, a week and a half, you could turn your cash flow pinch around. So this is Monday, you're looking at your books like, oh snap, I've got to pay myself some more money or I've got to make payroll by Friday. Go freaking knock on each client's lawn or on each client's door. Pull them out on the lawn. Mrs. Smith, here's what we're seeing. I just wanted to stop in, say hello, see how you guys were doing. I know you're a new client this year. I've been noticing some things in the lawn. Um, we didn't do a good job here, so I just wanted to let you know I'm going to fix that. I've got the trimmer with me. I'll clean it up, make it look really good. I'll blow out the uh, leaves on the landscape bed or whatever. So go ahead and up front add some value for the client and then ask them truthfully like, hey man, we're a small business. Is there anything else that we could help you out with around here? Do your gutters need cleaned? Uh, maybe give them a few ideas that you've seen, but then after that, just shut up. Is there anything else that we could help you with? See what they say. They may say something that you were just like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was on your radar. Hey, I want to add three zones to my irrigation. It's going to be another 1500 bucks. You're like, let's go! Another 1500 bucks? Sign me up, Mrs. Smith, right here. <laughs> All right, or they could be like, "Do you? I didn't know you did this. I didn't know you did irrigation. Or, hey, you know what? We were actually thinking about ripping up our entire landscaping and installing all new landscaping. You're like, Mrs. Smith, let's not think about it. Let's do it. All right, so I know it sounds stupid. I know it sounds tedious, but they know you like you and trust you. We talk about that all the time. You have the client base. It's so much easier to sell to somebody who already knows you, likes you, and trusts you. It's so much easier to upsell than it is to go out and find new work. So when you're in a cash flow pinch, go knock on your existing client's door. Look for opportunities to add more value, to go deeper with your existing client base rather than instantly freak out and stretch out why. So many times we panic and we think we need new work when that's not true. We need to panic and go deeper with our existing work we are so surface level when we mow. Let's go deeper. Look for ways that we can add value to an existing client. And then what happens when you add another layer of service? What happens when you trim their hedges? When you remove a tree? When you fix an irrigation problem? When you install some landscaping? When you clean out their beds and you do routine bed maintenance? When you do roundup on their sidewalks? when you do a perimeter pest control, when you do a lawn insecticide, when you walk their dog, when you pick up their dog poop, what happens? It is so much harder to fire you. How are we gonna fire Chase's lawn service, husband? Well, it's easy. He only mows the lawn, right? Uh, no boo. He does all those things that I just listed for you. We can't fire Chase's lawn service. Because when we do, we're going to have to find a landscaper, a mower, a lawn applicator, a pesticide guy, a tree removal guy. You see what I'm saying? So knock on the door, go deep with the client, find ways that you can add value. And also, don't forget this, get the check. All right, they want you to remove a tree. 
get payment for it. What the, the problem we're trying to fix here, guys, is a cash flow problem, not a work problem. We're not freaked out about having work to do. We're all busy. We're not worried about staying busy. We're worried about paying the bills on Friday. I need freaking money to pay my bills or I need money to freaking fix my car that's in the shop. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to go out, add value to my existing client base, add layers of value and services, increase my retention, increase my cash flow, pay my bills, get some more oxygen into my business to keep this mother trucker rolling.